did it cost? Everything. Going to the movies has become a pretty expensive affair. From movie tickets to concessions, prices have increased considerably, and movie theaters seem to do everything within their power to make you part with your cash. Here are 10 sneaky ways movie theaters get you to spend more money. Uh -huh. I think I paid my money like everybody else up in here. Brand tie-ins to amp up food and drink sales. I will not bow to any sponsor. If you are a regular to the movies, you know that brand tie-ins are a regular phenomenon. From the latest animated film to the most popular superhero franchise, you are guaranteed to be offered a souvenir popcorn tub or soda cup at the concession counter. And most often, these souvenir items are priced slightly higher than their regular counterparts. But who can resist eating popcorn out of Iron Man's helmet or sipping on a soda from a Star Wars BB-8-shaped cup? A drink cup up with characters from Disney's Frozen, a souvenir Avengers popcorn bucket, or other such brand tie-ins are designed to lure you in to spend more money on concessions. What is that amazing smell? While the drink and popcorn served to you in these fancy containers are the same, movie theaters get to charge you extra for the brand tie-in. Colorful and attractively packaged, these souvenir and collectible items are irresistible to children who want to take home a bit of movie magic. Sure, the kids will be happy with their toys and souvenirs, but it is the movie theaters who ultimately benefit from this money-making scheme. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Expensively priced regular items. There you go, smothered in delicious yellow chemical sludge. The cinema-going experience is supposed to be a magical one. You wait and wait for your favorite movie to hit the theaters, then you line up early to get tickets and the best seats. And of course, spend some time at the concession counter choosing your movie snacks. But did you know that each of these interactions is designed to get you to spend more and more money at the movie theater? When do you get to that point of enough is enough? Tickets are still somewhat affordable, but the concessions, not so much. And concessions are where the movie theater makes the bulk of their profits. With clever advertising, strategic product placements, and the constant bombardment of all of your senses with food and drink promotion, they make sure that you buy as much as possible at the concession counter. One clever trick that movie theaters employ is selling regular items at a higher price. Sometimes the cost is almost three times the regular price. From luxury cinema to chain theaters like AMC to single-screen cinemas, everyone is guilty of luring the customers into spending more money on food and drinks. You know what I love most about this country? Capitalism. Attractive food and drink displays at the concession counter. Mmm, delicioso! <laughs> when you go to the movies, have you ever noticed how colorful, brightly lit, and inviting everything is, especially the exterior of the movie theater? This is to ensure that you get attracted to buy a ticket and step inside. The next place where the movie theater can get you to spend your money is the concession counter. In fact, this is the only place where they can make the majority of their money, since they reportedly get to keep only 50 percent of the ticket sales. Sounds like a get-rich-quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. The theater hallways are lit in a regular manner, with only movie posters decorating the walls. But not so for the concession counter. The box office is plain and simple, generally no frills at all, whereas the concession counter is bright, colorful, and very attractive. It almost seems to give you the come-hither look and call out to you with its alluring displays. Movie theaters are guilty of deliberately making the concession counter look like something out of a movie itself. No one is able to resist its charm and offers, not unless you have the willpower of a Jedi. The Force will be with you, always. Discounts and promotions through loyalty programs. Because being loyal is very important. Movie theaters are experts at making you come back to the theaters by widely promoting their loyalty programs that promise to deliver more savings each time you spend a dollar at the theater. They even offer discounts on concessions that make you spend more than you intend to. For example, as a loyal member of a particular cinema chain, you would be offered a 10% discount on popcorn and soda every time you purchase a movie ticket, or a free popcorn when you bring in a friend with you. Can we please be friends? Absolutely. Yay! 
Additionally, if you've signed up for an app, they have 24-7 access to your phone and constantly send you push notifications for food and drinks, which will further tempt you to go to the movies. Promotions and deals like via group deal apps like Groupon, Living Social, etc. are some other sneaky tactics that movie theaters employ to get you to spend more money. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. They capitalize on movie-going culture and traditions. It's tradition. Knowingly or unknowingly, culture, customs, and traditions play a big part in our lives. Whether it's going trick-or-treating with your kids on Halloween, not wearing white after Labor Day, or buying flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day, we do these things without even giving them a second thought just because it is the done thing to do. Buying popcorn and soda at the movies is just like a custom or tradition. It has become a part of the movie-going experience. To some, it is an abomination to even think of a movie night without snacks and drinks. I'd be an abomination! They are well aware of these customs and do everything within their power to capitalize on them. A perfect example of this capitalization technique is getting you to buy a large box of candy at the concession counter. Just think, would you normally eat a large box of candy in a two-hour period, the average duration of a movie? But at a movie theater, you casually buy a large box without even thinking twice. Why? Because eating large amounts of candy has become a normal thing to do thanks to years and years of advertisements, films, and television propaganda. And we regularly fall prey to this sneaky movie theater tactic. The deception! The betrayal! Oh, the delicious smells. That smell. The kind of smelly smell. We often associate a person, place, or thing with certain smells. In the case of a movie theater, a vast majority of people associate it with the smell of freshly popped popcorn. As you think about it, we're sure that you are already imagining the delicious aroma of buttery popcorn. And factually speaking, it is an unavoidable smell. So strong is the pull of the aroma that without even glimpsing the popcorn, you know that you want it. Resist it, honey. The popcorn is so inexpensive to make that the the profit margins on popcorn of any size are ridiculously high. It is undoubtedly the most popular and the highest selling item at any concession counter in the country. While soda and candy may not be very successful in the smells department, they certainly do the job in the visuals department. On the whole, movie theaters use every trick in the book to make you part with your hard-earned money at the concession counter. I couldn't resist. The add-on food effect. You must have some more? When you walk up to the concession counter at the movie theater, you experience a sensory overload of sights and smells, all of which are designed to grab your attention and entice you to shell out more money to buy things that you probably won't even be able to finish. You buy the large soda and popcorn, but if you reflect on it, do you really think that you were going to be able to finish the entire large bucket of popcorn and soda in a single sitting? It's an unfair game. But what if you decided to have just some popcorn and nothing else? Well, movie theaters have got you there too. They know it all too well that if you eat a large tub of popcorn, you are probably going to get thirsty. That's good news for the theater because they get to sell you a large cup of soda too. This is what many would call the add-on food effect. More items means more sales and more money for movie theaters. It's a trap. They offer premium food experiences. Look, I got money to spend in here. In the recent past, the movie theater business has undergone a kind of quiet revival. There are more and more high-end theaters offering luxurious amenities like plush seats, fully reclining seats, <laughs> ah. whining and dining options, private screening theaters, and several other VIP services. Food and drinks are also included in the luxury makeovers experienced by movie theaters. Ah. <clears throat> Great movie. These include gourmet snacks, alcoholic beverages, full meals, etc. They are designed not just for your pleasure, but also to fill the pockets of the movie theater. While watching the latest Avengers flick, you can gorge on scrumptious sliders, sip on a handcrafted cocktail, or even enjoy a steak dinner. No doubt these value-added services enhance the movie-going experience, but it also means that movie theaters get to charge exorbitant amounts for it. You want the old Ultimate. You gotta be willing to pay the ultimate price. Movie theaters openly practice price discrimination. 
This is the essence of discrimination. Movie theaters employ clever tactics to get you to buy more food and drinks from the concession counter. The main objective is to make sure that you spend as much as possible at the concession counter. You may just want a tub of popcorn, but when they throw in words like combos and upgrades, you inevitably bite the bullet and spring for the large soda, a giant box of candy, or other such concession options. Movie theaters openly practice price discrimination towards their customers. Price Discrimination is defined as a pricing policy employed by sellers wherein they are able to charge different prices, usually the highest possible ones, to customers for the same products based on how much the customer is willing and able to pay. I'm not guilty. You're the one who's guilty. But why do movie theaters do this? That's because they make a majority of their income from concessions. For example, the movie theater makes about 80 cents on the dollar for the food that you buy there, whereas they make only about 50 cents on the dollar for the admission tickets. The rest of the money reportedly goes to the distributor of the film. So naturally, concessions are where they have a chance to make maximum profits. As for how they practice price discrimination, it's by various offers and promotions like free upgrades, free refunds, Fills, buy one, get one free, etc. Yes, yes, nothing is better than free food. Food and soda commercials before the movie. So many previews, so many previews, so many previews. Another sneaky trick that theaters use to get you to spend more money is by airing enticing food and drink commercials before the start of the movie. The process begins when they list the movie times at least 15 minutes earlier than the actual start of the movie. This allows them to show more commercials before the trailers, which is another source of revenue. And it keeps you, the moviegoer, waiting for a lot longer. Don't leave now, the movie's about to come on! If you have to sit through about 15 to 20 minutes of commercials and trailers, you will probably give in and go get something to eat or drink. Plus, if the commercials feature close-up shots of buttery popcorn or ice-cold soda, there's just no way you're going to be able to resist. Start the movie! Start the movie! Start the movie! Can't resist more great videos? Then tap that screen. Checking us out for the first time? Then show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.